Hey guys and welcome back to It's Girl Time. So for today's video I was completely inspired by the first day of summer and this beautiful week we've had here in Jersey. If you're from Jersey you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was the week to go to the beach, hit the pool, get some ice cream, sunny beautiful hot weather. So in inspiration of that I thought I would do a summer must-haves. Now these are all the things I feel you should have for the season of summer and I want to share them with you. So let's dive in. The first thing on my list is the best accessory to have over the summer and that is sunglasses. Now this is my favorite pair. These are my aviators. I bought them a couple years ago and literally out of all the sunglasses that I have, these are my fave. I literally wear them all year around but they're the best in summer. Definitely get you some sunglasses and they also protect your eyes. So. And the second thing on my list would be to invest in moisturizer with SPF. Now you should be moisturizing all year round. Think that for summer and probably all year round as well make sure that there's a little bit a little bit of SPF in your moisturizer we're literally in the Sun all day it's not just oh I gotta put sunblock on because I'm at the beach you know SPF have it on always you know we're constantly walking outside I love to eat outside like in the summertime so definitely having a moisturizer with SPF is gonna help protect your skin the third thing on my list that is just having chapstick that also has SPF in it. Let's see. Turn it around. SPF 15, I think. Um even though my normal go-to chapstick doesn't have SPF in it, I always make sure that right when summer starts, I pick up a small one that has a little bit of SPF in it. It's just to moisturize my lips anyway. The fourth thing on my list is sunblock. Now, um I hope that we all know to invest in sunblock for the summer, but in case you don't know, <laughs> pick some up. This is actually just the Target brand. It's supposed to compare to the Neutrogena. And I picked it up because it was cheap, it was small, that I could just leave in my bag. And I liked that it was a Neutrogena brand, which made me feel comfortable with putting it on my feet. The fifth thing on my list is for my thicker girls with no thigh gap, and that is the Gold Bond Friction Defense. Um, this is awesome. I recently just picked this up and I absolutely love it. It's for chafing in all areas. If you have it in between your arms, maybe like on your neck, my biggest problem is the thighs. Oh my god. But this right here, it doesn't stain your clothes. There's no scent. And the fact that it's shaped like a deodorant, you don't have to get your hands dirty. You literally pop it open, twist it up, apply it to the area, and you can go on about your day. You can wear your short shorts, short skirts, maxi skirts, and you're not getting that uncomfortable irritation. So definitely invest in it. I, I love it. I don't go out without it. The sixth thing on my list is for my makeup wearers in the summer. I know people think it's crazy. I don't mind wearing makeup in the summer and this baby right here helps me out. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is my favorite one. I know that MAC makes one, Mario Badescu makes it. A whole bunch of different companies now make setting spray and this is just to help keep your makeup in place and keep it from running all over the place because you know you're gonna break a sweat and I don't care how hot or how humid it is I, I just I love a good contour and I'm gonna do it no matter what the season is and that definitely helps me out the seventh thing on my list is to have a good highlighter there is nothing better than having some tan skin and some highlighting cheekbones okay and I just use the one that is in my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and that'll just be this color right here it's a nice shimmery gives me that extra glow extra highlight um, there's so many different highlights now there's NYX highlights uh, Anastasia actually has like glow kits and stuff the 
eighth thing on my list is for hair and it is for my naturalistas my curly haired girls and that is the Tresemme all day humidity resistance it's just a black bottle and it'll say it right here on the bottom this is the best thing that I had ever invested in I actually use it all year round but it's a definite must-have for the summer it gets super humid and it'll just poof out your curls and make it frizzy and there's nothing wrong with a little volume but to keep it tame and keep those curls looking cute you just spray a little bit of this and you're good to go it literally like I love it one thing I will say is it is a little sticky so if you want to like wrap a towel or maybe like spray it somewhere you don't mind that the floor gets a little sticky but once it dries your hair is not sticky the next thing on my list which is the ninth thing <laughs> is a baseball cap mine is just Keene University okay Googas. and this is actually the best thing I ever bought I bought it for work we were going on a school trip to a baseball game and now it's like my favorite accessory you can put it on your head when you don't feel like doing your hair you can put it on your head and pull it down a little when you don't feel like doing your makeup I have the worst like under eye bags and circles and stuff and I put that on and I still feel cute even if I don't got a full face on and the best thing about it is you can bring it to the beach the tenth thing on my list is shoes now I love me a good heel but in the summer I find it a little difficult to wear them especially like stilettos and stuff with like barbecues and you know food truck festivals like who who trying to wear heels in that but if you invest in a small chunky heel like this you can wear your heels wherever you want these I got from just fab they're awesome and the best part about it is if you're doing something during the day and you don't have time to stop at home before you do something at night it's just as cute as a stiletto just gives you a little bit more comfort last but certainly not least on my list which is the 11th item is a good satchel slash cross bag now I have two different sizes here I think they're a good investment for the summer they just have like the long strap and this is a smaller one it just has a little pouch and if you put it like this your bag is always going to be on your side now if you have a lot more things to put in your bag you can also invest in a bigger one which is this which also has the long strap and your things are right here by your side i think this is a really good bag for summer just because like i mentioned you do like a lot of food truck festivals and like barbecues and you know you don't want to have a big tote or like sometimes I feel like the wristlet could be a good idea but then it's always like hitting on your wrist if you're like holding a drink or trying to eat and this is just your best bet to keep all your stuff with you. It keeps it close to you, it keeps it out of the way so you can maneuver and socialize perfectly. And that's about it. These are 11 things I feel are a must have for the summer. Please let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, more videos to come. And that's about it. Leave some comments down below. Are you using these items that I have here? What do you think? If you haven't and now you're going to, let me know how you like it. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Enjoy your summer. Be safe. Positive vibes. Positive life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.